So now we will study each individual amino acid's metabolism. Okay. So individual amino acid metabolism. So first we will start with phenylalanine. Phenylalanine we have already talked. What is it? It is an aromatic type, right? It is aromatic. It is essential or non-essential? It is essential. It is keto and glucogenic. Right? We have already discussed in the earlier videos, right? Now, we are studying one more important point is hydrophobic. Remember, it is hydrophobic. Now, we will study the metabolism. Now, phenylalanine will be converted to tyrosine by the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase. The coenzyme here is BH4. That is BH2 reductase. The enzyme here is BH2 reductase. BH4 means tetrahydro bioptate and BS2 means dihydro bioptate so this is the coenzyme here now if this enzyme is absent we call it as a disease that is known as phenylketonuria type 1 if this cofactor if the cofactor is absent we call it as Phenylketonuria type 2. Clear? When this is absent, type 1. When BH2 is deficient, this is phenylketonuria type 2. Now, if this enzyme is absent, what happens? This phenylalanine will accumulate, right? This phenylalanine accumulation they will be converted to phenyl acetate and Phenyl pyruvic acid. This phenyl acetate will come through urine. So the urine will smell mousy. So there is a production of mousy odor. Very important MCQ. Mousy odor is due to which compound? That is phenyl acetate. And we have phenyl alanine and phenyl pyruvic acid and phenyl pyruvate. So these are the substances formed from phenyl. So these are causing mental retardation in children. So they will go to brain and cause mental retardation. In newborn babies, it is diagnosed after 72 hours. Test is done after 72 hours. Because mother's enzyme will stop working after 72 hours. So we will do the test after 72 hours. Which enzyme? The phenyl, phenyl hydroxylase. Okay. Now the clinical features. The baby will be normal at birth. Okay. Normal at birth. Later they will show severe vomiting. Severe vomiting will be there. Now, so they will show decreased melanin. Decrease melanin. We will study tyrosine metabolism at the time you will understand because ty tyrosine forms the melanin pigment, or covering pigment, right? So there will be fair complexion baby. Melanin is decreased, there will be fair complexion. Now the mousy order of this is also clinical feature, mousy order will be present in urine. Now we know that type very important question. Tyrosine is what? non-essential because body will be producing so it is the condition phenyl ketonuria is a condition where tyrosine become essential we have to take tyrosine separately through our food normally tyrosine is non-essential it means we don't want to take through food because it is produced from phenyl and phenyl and here this enzyme is absent so tyrosine won't be produced so it will become essential in what phenyl ketonuria so tyrosine become essential in phenyl ketonuria. Important MCQ. Okay. Now next we will study the uh, metabolism of tyrosine. 
Next amino acid is our tyrosine. Tyrosine is very important amino acid because tyrosine is giving us three things. Three things are formed from tyrosine. Tyrosine is giving us our hormone tyrosine. Then our catecholamines. Catecholamines, you know, right? Norepinephrine, epinephrine, and dopamine. Okay. So tyrosine metabolism. So tyrosine is what? It is also aromatic. It is non-essential. It is Gluco and ketogenic, right? Now, the main thing we are getting from tyrosine are first one is our melanin or pigment, then the hormone thyroxine, the T3, T4, and catecholamines. The catecholamines. First, we will study. How tyrosine is forming melanin? It is by the enzyme tyrosinase. Here the cofactor is copper. Very important. Copper is a cofactor in forming melanin from tyrosinase. This reaction is taking place in the melanosomes. Melanosomes of melanocytes. If tyrosine is absent, Tyrosinase is absent, it leads to a disease known as albinism. That is, all part of body will be white. Okay, it is not vitiligo. Vitiligo is patch of skin will be white. Albinism is different. The whole part of body will be white. Clear? Okay? Now, now we will study how tyrosine is forming. Tyrosine. That is T3 and T4. See, tyrosine plus iodine, they will form iodine or ion iodine form mono iodothyroxine and di iodothyroxine. You can call it as MIT and DIT. Okay, now. This MIT plus DIT form what? Our T3. DIT, this T3 plus again MIT form what? Our T4. This is how, sorry, not T3. Two molecules of DIT will form T4. One mono iodothyroxine and di iodothyroxine form what? T3. D di iodothyroxine and di iodothyroxine form T4. This is how thyroxine is formed. Now next we will see how the catecholamines are formed. Okay. Now we will study how catecholamines are formed from thyroxine. Now The tyrosine will be converted to first DOPA. DOPA will become dopamine. Okay. DOPA will become dopamine. Then this dopamine will be forming no epinephrine. Then ultimately we will have epinephrine. We have different enzyme in each location. The enzyme here is tyrosine hydroxylase here the enzyme is dopa decarboxylase here the enzyme is dopamine beta hydroxylase here simply sum sum means yes adenosyl Methionine. 
as adenosyl methionine. It is giving a donating a methyl group that is known as methylation. So methylation of non epinephrine gives what? Epinephrine. Clear? Now tyrosine hydroxylase, their what factor is again our this BH4, BH2. That is BH2 reductase will be here. Here in decarboxylase, the coenzyme is B6. Here the coenzyme is vitamin C. Very important. Dopamine to non epinephrine. The coenzyme is vitamin C. Okay. So this how the name is non epinephrine epinephrine. Catecholamines are from dopamine, non epinephrine epinephrine. You know, in clinically we have a disease known as what Parkinson's disease. What is the problem in Parkinson's disease? Decrease in dopamine. So which drug we used to give? We will give dopamine. Mainly we will give what? Carbidopa. Actually we are not giving carbidopa only. We are giving a combination of carbidopa and levodopa. So dopamine is decrease in wear in substantia nigra of brain. There is a balance between dopamine and acetylcholine, right? Do dopamine is decreased now. So we are giving dopamine. So why we are giving both carbidopa and levodopa? What carbidopa is doing is it is inhibiting the enzyme dopa decarboxylase. Dopa decarboxylase in periphery. Periphery means it will inhibit this enzyme in all other parts of our body. So all the dopa can be go to the brain and give dopamine there. So levodopa will take. So levodopa will work in brain only. Okay. So no use in other parts. So the all the dopamine can be get in brain. That's why we are giving levodopa and carbidopa because carbidopa inhibit dopa carboxyl only in periphery, not in brain. Very important. So we are giving in a combination. So these are the two important amino acids, tryptophan and tyrosine. This is their metabolism. Okay.